Ernest Spades. And from them emerged the boy who became the adopted father of the hip-hop generation, a Zulu, Africa, Bam Bam. I got into street gangs, the Black Spades, a lot of other groups I was in before I became a Spade, Power, Bronx, Savage, No Man's. And, um, but Spades was one of the groups that I really loved a lot. It was a lot of unity in the group. It was one of the most hated groups in the whole city because all it was about was uh, trouble and stuff and static. But it was one of the most organized black youth groups. As for if you mess with them, they would mess with you. And plus, in that year, 1975, um, one of the brothers that was close to me that lived, lived with me for about two years by the name of Solsky got shot by the police on Pelham Bay along with some other members of the Spades. And um, he died, and this other member died, and one survived. The violent death of Bam's best friend marked for him the end of the line. And he went back to a vision that once had occurred inside of his youthful mind, a way to fight yet maintain peace, an impossible situation, unless you could create something powerful like his memory of the Zulu nation. Violence is necessary. Violence is a part of America's culture. It is as American as cherry pie. American taught the black people to do violence. We will use that violence to get ourselves up there. Basically, our ultimate goal in the Klan is to bring about a unification of all of the Anglo-Saxon and Protestant American citizens into a bond of unity to counteract the philosophies of the minority. And there are many people who feel that it is useless and future for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks on an unarmed and defenseless people. We are not human beings unless we ourselves band together and do whatever, however, whenever is necessary to see that our lives and our property is protected. And I doubt that any person in here would refuse to do the same thing were he in the same position. Or I should say, were he in the same condition. It was with the vision of a Zulu nation, a trip to Africa, and a death situation that produced a man who put on Zulu dress and began to transform a violent mix. Bambada was always a music man, a record collector who as a DJ jammed. Now he saw a new idea to use stand and proud in his career, to put the Bronx in a music trance and move from violence to Zulu dance. And so it became hip to hop in the land known as Planet Rock where gangs used to fight in the street every day. Now they began to compete in a different way. As the DJ's music made the house shake, the dancers would begin to break. Some electric boogie to move like toys, others would spin and became b-boys.
go. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. The breakers know what they have got from electro boogie to street robot. They dance off the anger in a street or room. Who needs a gang when the beat goes boom? Yes. Well, what are you doing around here? You guys can go back. Oh, you Everybody in life, you got to fight in life. You're not always right. 